some basic uh, setup for corners. So, as a keeper, if the corner is coming from this side, good or bad spot to be in? Bad. I thought you should set. Well, you want your defender okay. on the pole you and you be, be out. out. Why? Bad. bad, I'd say, because it's easier to move forward than it is backwards, I think. I always tell my goalie to be back more. I'm going to agree with that. Where my players are, though, they're here. Okay. I've got to, I block my goal, the goalie. If I'm attacking, I want this. Well, I'll, I'll show you how to break <laughs> that, too. But I, not, not on the kick, though. I go, I'm attacking you, but yeah. I, when the ball's kicked, I'm standing here with that here. Yep, we're talking about the goalie's starting position. So what I would do on your goalie starting, this is definitely a no. You don't want to be out here for the reason being is that the kick goes up. Instantaneously, I got to turn tail and run backwards. Even up here, I would still be a little weary of coming to this near post for the reason being is it's still pretty exposed back here. What I would do is I would step back a little bit, go ahead and stand on your line. You get some tricky players that are starting to bend the ball in, you know, at your guys' age bracket, or it's a really windy day or something. Have a start here. Notice my body position. Yeah. I'm not on the line. I'm not Angle square. I'm actually angled out this way. So that way I can see what's going on there. I can see what's going on there. If I get bumped or I have to go back here, I can still see what's going on. If I back up, I can't see what's back here. I might trip over bad ground. I mean, you've seen some of the pits that you play in. They gotta be able to go right here. So now if it's a short corner, I'm ahead. If it's out here, I can turn tail and run and get out here. If it's even back to the far post, I can just slide across one and two steps and I'm on my near post. So, so on your keeper standpoint, I know you got to go, so that's just that's a great basic point. We, standpoint. We had, we had the girl standing way out here and the ball came right here yep. on the scrimmage that night against um, his team and she went to catch it and it popped and went in the net. Yep, so you can just go that way. If you got one that's you know coming real hot in here, you know you can punch it out. But you got to be able to go towards the ball. I have confidence that they can get from there to there before that ball gets in. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yep. That's just the basic goalie positioning. Um, now, I am a big fan of having people on the posts, you know, for that added protection. So that way, when we're tight like this. So defender, near post, far post. Correct. Okay. Your tallest people, <laughs> if all possible. Okay. On the post. No matter their position or just the tallest people? Tall people. <laughs> tall boy. <laughs> as much as possible. For the reason you want some tall ones on here so that way they can kind of get up here. When you are setting your defenders on the post, okay, here's what they need to do on the defenders. This is not a coach's job, by the way. This is one of those pieces that the keepers, when you set this up, you got, you know, you can coach it kind of sitting back here. Make sure your coach or your goalkeepers are setting this up. Good or bad? For well, if it's coming from that direction. To me, I would say I would say bad. Yeah. Okay. More in front of it. I would More have. In front? Nope. I would have my angle. shoulder on the inside of the goal post. Angle with the rope. The angle. You know how your goalie was angled there? I would have. I would have my defender angled like that also to a degree. Right here. Yep. Okay. Like on this edge of the post here, so that way you can see what's coming because. Your instinct is to step out, and if that ball's curving, it's going to come in. That way, you're tight. Okay, it's a guided question. I'm letting you guys answer it. I know. I'm okay. disagreeing with all. I, I would all have everybody you out so a little far. bit. <coughs> I want to so. have you holding onto the post personally, but that's yeah. okay. Well, well, no, no, I didn't have to hold out, the post, but I want them on the post. inside of the post, and that way, if the goalie is out of position, it's easy for you to shuffle along too. Okay. I think I'll, I'll show you why this is not a good position. Fred, come on over here. You're on. Uh, you're an attacking player. Oh, I can't even get out of here anymore. I'm jailed in. Okay. Coming in front of the post. Now, the post is going to guard the post. I don't need to guard the post right now. I'm guarding the post. That's not what my design is to do. So by guarding the post, I think you're kind of defeating the purpose of me being here. If I go inside, this was one of the original positions. Good or bad? Better but not quite that good. It doesn't take much to block you in there. Well, it doesn't take much to block me in, and I'm not too much worried about that at this point because now I've at least got a free shoulder that I can get around him if need be, mess with his heels a little bit. That's a dirty play, by the way. So is this. Yes, or the shorts. Yeah. <laughs> but the reason that this is no good 
is, is a ball this big, even this big? No. I can actually guard six more inches of the post by sliding out here. Is the ball that big? No, it's still not that big, so ball's not going to fit in there. So I can actually slide out, maybe not quite this far, but it'll also give me an opportunity to rock a little bit. If I'm square here, the only thing I can do is really step out. But I can kind of rock inside. I can kind of divvy off a little bit. Now this so is when a, this I set is my guys, the defender we're talking about, right? The defender, that correct. Just double check. The defender is to don't put them right on the post. Don't have your keepers put them right on the post. Just slightly off the post. He can hold on to it. That's fine as a kind of a reference point. Perfect. Have them right about here on the line. Though. Tall guys. And if the, on both first, sides. the goal's coming from this, that's where you want. You want them flat. Correct. You don't want no angle. Yep. Okay. His goal, his purpose, he's going to stay there. He's not going to go out and get the ball. You let the other defenders okay. go out and get the ball. His goal is to pretty much, if something happens where it gets, you know, squeaks in, because this goalie is now protecting a 21-yard space. Right. That's a lot of 21-foot space. That's 21 yards. That would be awesome, huh? <laughs> Beyond the 18-yard box there? <laughs> I might be able to score then. Yeah. <laughs> 21 feet. But if we're this close, the angles aren't in our favor. So go ahead and have these guys just be an extension of this post so that way they're guarding this. Okay. Keeper tells them when to leave. You know, once the play is out, out of the pitcher, ball's in his hands, it's been cleared out, that's when we get these guys out of the way. Okay, is that the same for the far post? Far same, post is the same exact same thing. Same exact. Yep. Just slightly Are they going to angle to face this way a little bit Heels, coming from the side? Nope. Because okay. again, their purpose, the reason that we have the keeper out here, He's angled because he has to move, he has to go out and get stuff. Their sole purpose is to be guarding something that happens to squeak through. That's their only purpose right now. Jaden, just real quick, the reason why I play a player with a little bit with the shoulder on the inside here, real step out, is it takes away, and this could just be the younger age, but the urge to step out and play the ball and then leave that big gap. That's why I, that's why I have them play a little bit to the inside of the post. Yeah, you could do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Though that's why I say more to the inside. I mean, yeah. If your key thing is to tether them though to the post. Well, they don't have to be. No, I don't have them right on it, but I have them play more to the inside of the post because by having them play like this, if the ball's right there, their natural instinct is to do this, and then now look at the huge gap you've just left. Yeah. So that's why I've tried to get them on more to the. I, and I, I was off by saying I have you hook your shoulder, yeah. but to the inside of the post more, just to keep them home. If you notice that, you understand yep. what I'm saying there on that? Yep. And I mean, you, you use your common sense. If the right. ball's sitting right there, you, right. No, but this guy me. leaves, obviously. But for the most part, when you start to get into the upper age brackets, players are starting to be able to pick off these corners. Correct. So they got to just stay, uh, stay, home. stay home. And I would actually, because if you angle them like this, yep. you've actually taken away some yep, space. Yes, saying, yep, if right. I turn back in this way, right. now I've actually been able to cover, you know, from here to here. But if I angle, correct. Plus, you've lost some peripheral vision too. Then, so you've lost this back corner. Exactly. So that one, that right. you know, that one. No, no. But that's the worst you. ball ever as a goalkeeper. The one that you come out here and you turn and you're watching them. And all of a sudden, they just go. The little rainbow all up and over your head. It's almost an impossible one to guard. That's why your back post guy is here, and hopefully, poof, then you owe him a cheeseburger. That's what I call it. <laughs> Anytime they save your butt from the ball going in, that's a cheeseburger. <laughs> okay, I know this is a goalie drill, but what is the most dangerous positioning on a cross for the goalkeeper then? So you've got your you've got your position here, yeah. your defenders and everything like that. What, what is the goalie's most dangerous cross? At the at the penalty spot, far post, near post? Penalty. I mean, and, and from your from your opinion. Yeah, yeah. That's a darn near impossible one because if you go out as a keeper, you're going to start chasing it. So that's why you know, when you're working with the keepers, anything that's looking in, definitely that should be theirs. Anything that's kind of going to land in the six-yard box, with the exception of that backside, you know, kind of take a, like a little corner spot. I wouldn't worry too much about that. If it's a you know just a floater out to the, about the 12 yard box for your older age brackets. Younger age brackets, I would say anything, anything in this little box here, you know, your U12s and under, 
anything in this box here really should be there still. Anything in here has got to be that keepers, or at least, you know, kind of making it up. Getting beyond that 14, I would say getting to this gold box is theirs. Anything, you know, your 18s, even getting to your 15 age bracket. If it's a floater, they can come out all the way up to, you know, halfway between the penalty line and the six yard box. Here. The re reason I ask it is because of where you, I'm asking my personal, my corner kick to put the ball, where's, what's the most dangerous position for a goalie, what he doesn't feel the most comfortable with. So, because I've told him to put it at the, at the penalty spot, but that might be a little deep. Maybe it should be in a little bit more. If it's a floater and it's hooking into me, I'll come out and get that all day so long. Okay. But if it's a ball that's hooking away, that's the most, anything hooking away from the goal on a corner kick, those are dangerous because what happens is the keeper starts it, and that's the next thing you know, it just keeps on hooking. The keeper is now in no man's land out here. All it takes is a little okay. up and over. So an in-swinger, is it always your best ball? Out of my if you're going to do an in-swinger, an in-swinger will probably finish yeah. Right about here. If you're going to do an in-swing, drive an yeah. in-swinger. Off to the far post. Nicole. Teach your guys to do this. Yeah. Those yeah. that there. Get it right back smack dab in the middle. That's what it does the rope. Yeah. So that's like right, a line. Because this is not much of an angle. Yeah. Yeah. We're on it that's that's the, 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 Just dish it back in. That's like get back to the Not just trying to so. get Yep, but that's just a basic kind of positional where you want your keepers and where you're going to have a lot of success.